Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n square minus 6 and its whole square equals to n plus 6. And we will solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we move this n uh, or this 6 in the left hand side and we write it as n square minus 6 and minus 6 equals n and in the next step we can just make some simplifications here so that we will put y equals n square minus 6 so that when you put y equals n square minus 6 then this equation will becomes in the form of uh, this is whole square and it will becomes y square minus 6 equals n and after this I can name this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2 so that in the next step I can just subtract equation number 1 by equation number 2 so that first I can write equation number 1 and our equation number 1 is n square minus 6 equals to y and equation number 2 is y square minus 6 equals n and now we can subtract these two equations so that you will just change the sign of these equations and here you see that these two are cancelled by each other and in the left hand side you have n square minus y square and in the right hand side you have y minus n so uh, now you will see here in the left hand side we will use here the square formula which is a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we can use this nice formula in the left hand side of the above equation so our above equation will becomes n minus y times of n plus y it is equals to y minus n so in the next step we will move all the terms in the right hand side to the left hand side so that this equation will become n minus y times of n plus y and when we move this in the left hand side you have n minus y because this is minus n when we move in the left hand side it will become plus n and this is plus y when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus y and this whole equation equals zero so now uh, here you focus on both of the terms and you see that we have n minus y be the term which is present on both of the terms so that here we will just take common n minus y and you get n plus y and we take common n minus y and you get plus 1 and this whole equation equals 0 and now you see here we have two cases here the first case is we take n minus y equals 0 and the second case is we take n plus y plus 1 equals 0 and now we will back substitute the value of y and in the start of the problem we will take here y equals n square minus 6 so that we can put here the value of y and it will becomes n square minus 6 and this whole equals 0 
and here you have n plus n square minus 6 and plus 1 equals 0 and now we will multiply this minus sign on both of the terms and you get n minus n square plus 6 equals 0 and here we can rearrange the terms and you get n square plus n and minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5 and this whole equals 0 so now here I can multiply this equation by minus 1 and you will get here n square minus n and this is plus 6 and it will becomes minus 6 and whole equals 0 here I can just multiply by minus 1 so when you multiply it by minus 1 then you get output in this form and in the next step we will make the factors of this equation and uh, the factors of uh, this equation are n square minus 3n and plus 2n and minus 6 equals 0 so now you take common n here and you get n minus 3 and here you take common plus 2 and you get n minus 3 equals 0. So that here you obtain you take common n minus 3 and you get n plus 2 equals 0. So uh, here you have again two cases the first is you take n minus 3 0 and the other is you take n plus 2 0 so here you get the value of n equals 3 so this is the first real solution of this problem similarly here you get n equals minus 2 and this is the second real solution of this problem so now in order to find the other solutions we will solve our second case so our second case is n square plus n minus 5 equals 0 so now we can make the factors of this equation and I think so it is uh, difficult to make the factors of this equation so that now we can uh, use uh, the nice quadratic formula here so that we have a equals 1 b equals 1 and c equals minus 5 and the quadratic formula is n equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c over 2 a and now we can put the values of a b and c in this formula and you get the value of b is 1 so you have minus 1 plus minus 1 minus plus 20 square root over 2 and you have minus 1 plus minus 21 square root over 2 so these are the other two roots of the given problem which is n equals minus 1 plus minus square root of 21 over 2 so these are the four solutions of this problem the first is this is the first solution this is the second solution and these are the third and fourth solution so these are the four solution of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos